<laughs> so hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new here hello welcome I'm Jack but when I'm in drag I go by Luna Rose cuz I'm the flower that blooms at night and as you can read from the title of today's video we're gonna be doing a new drag makeup haul over the last couple of months I've been trying to be good and be on a makeup no buy but um Let's just say my man period hit me hardcore and I kind of checked out everything on my wish list. So, um, let's get into it, shall we? <laughs> so the first product I picked up is from Morphe and it is the 18S Sunset Beats Eyeshadow Palette. When I saw the colour story of this palette, it literally just screamed my name. I love, like, yellowy, orange, warm tone eyeshadows and... You know, you can never have too many eyeshadows. Eyeshadow palettes are like my go-to thing. It's something that I'm always gonna end up picking up and seem to like want to collect and have more of. So, um, yeah, when I saw the color story of this, you knew I needed it, girl. Also from Morphe, I picked up the Star Blazer Highlighter Palette. Highlighters are another one of them things that I just always seem to gravitate towards and always seem to find some way to use. Even if it's just as like eyeshadow or, you know, the works, I will find a way to use all of these highlighters at some point in the future. And, um, yeah, I love looking nice and dewy and wet. So, um, I figured why not, girl? What, the, what was that? <laughs> so from Sue for Beauty, I picked up their little water activated doodle eyeliner duo, since it is a black eyeliner on one side and a white eyeliner on the other side. Makeup for me is such like a therapeutic thing and I love just being like creative and putting my art like into my makeup, so I figured it would be fun to get some like graphic eyeliner things to do some fun different doodles with, so um, yeah, I figured I'd just start with a black and a white, but I do want to pick up a bunch of other colours to, you know, like play around with makeup styles with and yeah, at some point in the future you'll see me doodling on my mug girl. So from the brand Juno & Co, I picked up their little velvet microfiber sponge. I saw Nikki Tutorials use this like a year and a half ago on her channel and recently I've been back into using a sponge to do like my base makeup. So I figured I would try a new sponge. It was really inexpensive and I've literally heard nothing but good things about it. And then I did also pick up a little like powder brush since you guys know I do drag, I apply a lot of makeup and a lot of powder and I really like the shape of this brush so um, yeah, at some point in the future you will for sure see me using both of these to um, beat my mug girl. I like that tongue pop, that was a good one. From the brand Wet n Wild, I picked up two of their little colour icon bronzers. So I picked up the shade What Shady Beaches, as well as the shade Sunset Striptease. I actually picked these up to like crush and mix with oil to like bronze up my body or bronze up my legs if I'm showing bare legs. But um, yeah, you guys know me, I really like bronze and contour up my face heavily. So yeah, at the very least I will use them on my face or literally crush them up to mix with baby oil to make me look extra glowy. What was that? I knew that was going to be a bad one. I could like feel it not happening. <laughs> also from Wet n Wild, I picked up another one of their little crease brushes. I actually really like this brush and it's super inexpensive because it comes with like a little like finger dent for you to like hold and just makes it nice and like ergonomic to use. Not gonna lie, I cannot be asked to wash my brushes every single time I do my drag makeup. So I buy a lot of brushes just because, you know, I'm hella lazy and I really like this crease brush girl. Oh girl, that might have broke it. So also from Wet n Wild, I picked up four of their Liquid Katsu Liquid Lipsticks. So I picked up the shade Nudist Peach, Chic Got Real, Caught You Bare Naked, and Cedar Later. These are pretty much the only tones I ever seem to play in recently, which is Nudes Peach Pink. Generally, I've not been playing with too many different colourful lipsticks, so, you know, I just had a top up of my general colours. But um, yeah, I'll let you guys know what they're like, and at some point you will see them pretty much overdrawn across my entire face in the future. <laughs> I did also pick up one of the Wet n Wild lip pencils in the shade Think Flamingo, which is pretty much just a soft like peachy pink colour, which I figured would go good with those liquid cat suits. Generally, when I line my lips, I use BH Cosmetics Earth Lip Liner, which has literally been my go-to lip liner for like two years now, but I figured I would try something new and just see what Wet n Wild's formula is like. Whoop. I've literally lost all my tongue pot power. 
So from the brand called Inica, I picked up the Baked Mineral Foundation in the shade Unity N2. You guys know when I do drag, I like a super duper full coverage beat. So generally I will go with my Kryolan TV Paint Sticks as a base, heavily set down using my Kochi Loose Air Spun Powder. And then I figured this would be really good to like dust off that bake and like give my skin a little bit of coverage. But since it's a more like mineral foundation, I'm hoping it'll kind of add like a slight bit of sheen to my skin and make it look a little bit natural despite it still being like more coverage on more coverage but um yeah I'll let you guys know and at some point in the future I will use it on my mug girl. The next product is from NYX Cosmetics and it is the Epic Ink Eyeliner. Literally every single time I do my liner now I go in with a liquid liner which is the That's The Point liquid liner from NYX which when I purchased this I thought I was buying the Epic Ink Eyeliner which you know, happy accident. This is my favourite eyeliner for doing like a, you know, full on fat wing. But I figured if this is the same formula, just a smaller, finer tip, it'll help me get into the inner corner of my eye and do like a little bit more precision detailing. So I figured if I've got them both, I have the best of both worlds and hopefully they're the same formula just to, you know, snatch a wing and you'll see them in the future on my channel, girl. The next product I picked up is from Makeup Revolution and it is the Hydrate and Conceal Foundation and I finally picked it up in a shade that will match me. Pure white. I grabbed the shade F0 to mix in with other foundations that I like the coverage and like the look of but wanting to be a little bit lighter and, you know, maybe add some coverage. It does say it is a medium to full coverage formula so, you know, hopefully I can mix it in with some foundations and not turn out umpa lumpa orange. Ooh, that was a spicy tongue pop. I did also grab another bronzer from the brand Wet n Wild in the shade Bikini Contest. Again, I bought these literally just to like crush up and mix with some baby oil to, you know, like bronze my body and add a little bit of colour at the same time. But um, yeah, it just looks super cute and I do like how they do have a big pan so if I didn't crush it up, I could actually get like a big powder brush in and like bronze my whole body with it, girl. Again, tongue pop's just, just gone. It's left the building, girl. From Makeup Revolution, I'm fairly sure I got this free when I purchased some of the other products since it is a lipstick in the shade Adventure, which is like a deeper chocolate warm brown, which I don't think I've ever worn a deep chocolate like orange terracotta brown on my channel ever. So, um, you know, it could be the first time I ever wear it, but for sure I would never intentionally purchase this. So I'm hoping it was a free gift and I didn't just like click on the wrong product. <laughs> Also from Makeup Revolution, I picked up their brow pencil in the shade Light Brown. Pretty much every single time I do my brows now for drag, I go in with my KVD kind of pomade and just do an outline and then fill it in with a little bit of powder. But I figured if I can swap to a pencil to add some like little individual hair strokes or do like a nice base to then go in with other product, it would like serve me well and help me since Girl, my brows are never even and my brows are the most time consuming part of my makeup and like the part I enjoy doing the least. So um, yeah, hopefully this pencil helps me out and helps me with this mess. <laughs> Fingers crossed. You know, I literally just said I've never intentionally purchased like a chocolatey terracotta lipstick. Well, um, I have. This is Havana Nights from Ofra Cosmetics and yeah, it is literally a terracotta chocolatey brown liquid lipstick. So um. I did intentionally purchase one. I did also pick up the shade Sao Paulo and Atlantic City, which again are all in that like warm chocolatey vibe. So um, yeah, I don't really know what came over me, but I now own three of Ofra's liquid lipsticks. I've never actually tried any of the formula of these, but um, I've heard good things and they're in different shades for me. So I'm gonna be stepping outside my comfort zone with a um, chocolate lip at some point. Also from Makeup Revolution, I got the I Heart Revolution Gold Chocolate Bar Palette. If you've ever seen a haul in which I end up mentioning Makeup Revolution, chances are I'm going to be buying one of their chocolate bar palettes that they've released. Since I have like got it in my head that I want to collect every single like chocolate bar palette they come out with and I don't remember owning this one so I might have it twice but I do think it's really cute and I do like the formula and like packaging of these so much so um I need another one, girl. Okay, so this next product, when I say its name, you might laugh and be like, girl, 
that's not fitting for you because it is the Makeup Revolution Sport Fix Setting Spray. Not gonna lie, girl, I am not the most sporty person. I'm trying to get back into fitness, but you know, since quarantine and everything's happened, the gyms have been closed and since they've like reopened, it's been like limited and reduced things. So I've not got back into fitness at all, not gonna lie. But it says it'll keep your makeup set and matte despite being like, you know, working out. Which literally when I'm filming, I have three very warm filming lights like blasting me. So it's literally a workout just to, you know, be in all this. So I figured it'll be a good setting spray to, you know, like lock my base in place while I'm roasting for the camera. So, um, yeah, not gonna use it for sports, but we'll use it for drag. <laughs> so from Beauty Bay's own brand, I picked up three of their liquid eyeshadow colors. So I picked up the shade Tiger's Eye, which is a nice, like, warm bronzy color. I grabbed the shade Garnet, which is an absolutely stunning, deep, sexy burgundy color. And I picked up the shade Smoky Quartz, which, to be honest, on the swatch on the website, you know, didn't really appeal to me that much. But the actual, like, component of it and seeing it in person, this is my favorite out of the three. It is so sparkly and reflective and just has that really, like, deep, grungy vibe to it, but with, like, a nice, like, of glitter throughout it so um yeah for sure i will use these on my channel in the future it has always been like a goal of mine since i started playing in makeup to have like a full collection of like glitters and like eyeliners and like toppers and stuff and these for sure will fit nicely in my collection I did also pick up the Living My Best Light little trio of them eyeshadow topper liquid moments, which I think is meant to be their Christmas collection because the colours are literally Christmas colours. So you get this absolutely stunning like green blue combo called Malachite. You get the gorgeous like silvery gold kind of colour called Pyrite. And you also do get Garnet, which, you know, I now own twice, so I'm hoping I enjoy the colour since I didn't realise it came in this set and I purchased it individually, but um, yeah, I do, will use these in the future on my channel, particularly Garnet now since, you know, I own two of them, but I'm thinking I could also use it as like a, like a lip topper to make my lips look juicy if I'm going in with a deep burgundy colour, but um, yeah, also picked up this little trio moment. So the next thing I picked up is a blush light in the shade Shadow Play from Melt Cosmetics. Melt makes some of my favourite products of all time with their Gemini eyeshadow palette. Literally be my number one favourite eyeshadow palette. If anything ever happened to my makeup collection, that would be the first thing I would repurchase. It is literally my favourite Holy Grail product. So when I saw that it was coming out with like blush topper highlighters, I was like, Hmm, that sounds interesting since generally I go for a matte blush and I apply it across my entire face But I thought it'd be cute to just kind of have a little Top of highlighter like on top of my blushes, but I have never been so disappointed with the product This shade of this and just like the formula Is honestly god awful. I would never ever purchase a blush light from them again since It literally just has like no sheen or like shimmer or nothing. It is literally just like a um odd coloured matte powder which yeah I've never been so disappointed with a formula of anything and um I regret this instantly as soon as I like swatched it I was just like Mel <laughs> what have you done you've let me down so um yeah the next product I know I'm never gonna use but um I've got it now Okay, so now we're go okay, so now we're going from a product I just hated to a product I know I'm going to love, and it is an Anastasia loose glitter in the shade Color Wave, which is a shade of chartreuse green. You guys know this by now, chartreuse green is my favorite color of all time. It literally just makes me so happy to see, let alone like play with and have in a makeup form, and this is literally a bright chartreuse glitter. So at some point in the future, for sure, I'm going to be wearing this, like, literally all over my eyes or on my lower lash line or just somewhere. I love the colour chartreuse green so much and I love glitter and sparkly things. So, for sure, I cannot wait to play in this, girl. <laughs> and then the final product I picked up is the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in the shade Diamond. I have wanted this liquid lipstick since they launched it, like, two years ago. But when I was thinking about it practically... I was like, how often am I going to use a soft periwinkle blue lipstick? But his liquid lipstick formula is also eye safe. And again, I want to get in the habit of playing with more creative makeup styles. And I might do some fun, like, graphic liner with this. And yeah, there's just something about this colour that speaks to me. And 
You never know, one day I might be daring and wear it on my lip scroll. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup haul of just things I got from like all over the place. Like I said, recently I've kind of just been a little bit down as per usual and I just treated myself to a whole bunch of different kind of uh, products from all over and um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you want me to utilize any of these products in future transformations. And don't forget to subscribe to a bitch and hit that notification bell to tell you when I upload. There should be one new video every single Monday at 10 p.m. But like I said, make sure you hit that notification bell to tell you about bonus days. And um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this haul and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Good tongue pop outro. <laughs>